Hey everyone, how's everybody doing? I hope you all are doing all right. I, my name is Samer Sabati. I'm the owner of Dr. Detailing here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so first, we're just gonna go over this video that I made on an exterior detail on a BMW 528i. Uh, this car received an exterior detail with a spray sealant as well as an NJ bay, engine bay cleaning. Uh, so first, we're just starting off the wheels. I always try to tackle those off first. Um, what I'm using in my pump sprayer is just a 5 to 1 dilution of all-purpose cleaner and I'm using my horsehair brush as well as a barrel brush that's very soft to get it to the inner sides of those barrels as well as a tire brush to clean those tires off of any old dressings or dirt and grime that's accumulated from the road. The APC will also go onto the wheel liners as well to, and will be hosed off with the pressure washer. So here guys, I'm moving on to the rear wheel here, the next wheel to do. Giving a thorough pre-rinse, just to remove as much of the top surface layer of dirt as possible before actually touching it with any brushes or tools. So here again, the same process as all the other wheels, we're going to be giving it a good soak and then good agitation and a good rinse with the pressure washer.
So right here, guys, I tried to uh, focus in on the inner wheel liner. Um, this, the rear ones on this BMW are fabric, so you, all, you can see all that dirty water that's coming out from the bottom of it. It's quite satisfying to do, so I tried to zoom in as much as possible to get that shot. On this wheel, I didn't include the full cleaning of the wheel, just wanted to show you all the uh, brake dust that was lifted off the surface just right before I rinsed it. So moving on to the body of the car, before any contact is made with the paint, with any wash mitt, with any brush, without anything, it always gets a thorough pre-rinse. You want to lift as much of the dirt off the surface of the car before even touching it. This will help minimize many swirl marks, scratches, any conflict, any hazing, whatever you might call it. As you can see here, there's a lot of pollen on the car. Here in Atlanta, there's a lot of pollen going on in spring season. So even at the end, you can see as I'm drying it, you can just see the pollen coming back down onto the vehicle as I'm drying. Moving on to the engine bay cleaning, I'm just gonna soak it down with the exact same solution I was using for the wheels and tires, which is a five to one APC dilution. And I'm gonna go around with my horsehair brush and get into all those intricate places just to agitate that a bit. And then at the end, it'll all be rinsed off with the pressure washer. So I didn't include the drying process of this at the end, however, it was hand dried with a microfiber towel. And then I also used compressed air to get all the uh, cracks and crevices to get all that water out of there. And the car was also started for about five to 10 minutes just to heat up and to burn off any other remaining water. Here guys, I'm just filling up my uh, foam cannon with some water and then a pH balanced car wash soap. This doesn't have any wax or additives in it, it's just simply a pH neutral car wash shampoo. I'm gonna close that up, give it a very gentle stir. You don't wanna shake it and foam it up in the cannon. You just want to stir it up just a tad bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and foam down the whole car. The whole car gets a thick layer of foam. Uh, the purpose of this guys is just to emulsify the dirt off the surface, help lift even more off before we actually get into the agitation phase of the wash. So while the whole car is foamed up, I'm going to go ahead and get in all to into the intricate spots that my uh, wash mitt will not get into. Um, one perfect example is right here is behind the gas door. Many people overlook this and with my wash mitt, I'm not going to be able to get to all those spots. So you're going to use your horsehair brush and get into all of that as well as all these uh, side marker lights, the grills, the emblems in the rear, any badges you want to go ahead and use your horsehair brush with the existing foam on the car and agitate those areas.
So after the foam cannon, uh, with the whole car foamed up, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all that foam off. Just one more time, you wanna try to get as much dirt off the paint as possible before touching it with your washing it. As you can see, all that pollen down on the concrete was getting washed away by the water. And here we go, we're finally getting to the agitation stage. So I'm gonna throw my wash mitt into the bucket. And a little trick I learned from a lot of detailers in the area, always put the soap on the mitt, not in the bucket. I don't know why, but that's what everybody likes to do, I guess. So you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna to wanna to get a nice foam up with the pressure washer from all that pressure. So you have the two bucket uh, wash method here as you can see the gray bucket is going to be my rinse bucket and the black bucket is full of my soap so after hitting a few panels uh, and going from top to bottom after doing that you're going to want to go to your rinse bucket rinse as much of that dirt out as possible squeeze that water out and then you're going to dip it back into the soap therefore your soap bucket does not get contaminated and it stays clean the entire time So I'm gonna be going around the entire vehicle right now and going from top to bottom. And whenever I go to a different panel, I will flip the wash mitt and then use that other side of the wash mitt to uh, wash that panel. Then after both sides of the mitt are used, I will go to my rinse bucket and do the two bucket method. So I just finished the agitation stage on the body of the paint of the whole vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse that down with the pressure washer and then we will be applying the sealant up next. The sealant that we're going to be applying is part of a reload. It comes in a concentrate. You can buy it like 100 mil and then di you dilute it six to one, six parts water and then one part concentrate. So what you're going to do is spray it on the vehicle while the surface is wet and then you're going to rinse it off with your high pressure pressure washer. And as you can see in that first clip, the water was not sheeting nor beading. There was like no protection on the paint. And you can see now there's some nice beads from that ceramic technology in CarPro Reload. I suggest it as a really good product to professional detailers. However, I do not recommend it um, to beginners or amateurs because if applied incorrectly, the uh, reload will not rinse off the car and it will be stuck to the car and you'll be end up buffing it off and it will be a big headache. Uh, for consumer-based products for something like this, a touchless application, I highly recommend uh, McGuire's Ceramic Wax, the touchless spray. It works great, does not last as long, however, for the product, it's kind of good. And here we go, I'm just drying down the um, vehicle with a microfiber towel. And after that, uh, I'm gonna go around, and after the whole car is dried, I'm gonna go around and dry all the tires before applying the tire shine. This is a silicone-based tire dressing that I have from my local detail supply store, and I'm gonna apply that all four tires right here. Well guys, that's tire shine applied to all four tires and the whole vehicle is complete with an exterior detail. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and comment down below for any other suggestions. And thank you guys so much. Have a great day.